how to mix your potassium hydroxide with your water to have the correct mixture. So as you can see, I'm using KOH, potassium hydroxide, and it's the, the flakes, and it's a 99% purity. And I'm using cold water. You need to use cold water. Don't use mild or warm or hot water because the potassium hydroxide will heat up your water very quickly. So you definitely want it to be very cold water. Okay, so let's get started. And make sure you're, you're able to have a cap for whatever you're using. For this, I'm just using a bottle. So if it starts foaming up, you wanna put that cap on because you don't want it to foam over. Uh, potassium hydroxide is very dangerous, so you don't want it touching you. So while you're pouring it, just make sure it doesn't touch your skin. So uh, before I mix this though, you're going to want between 20 and 28% potassium hydroxide in your water. Um, that's really good to run your generators to get the most out of them. For this, okay, so I have about that much water and I'm gonna put 20% in. So that would be one fifth of the water that I have. So to add another fifth, it's probably gonna be about right there. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So it would be actually a half inch to just over a half inch, or just under a half inch. So I'll want it to be about to this line right here. So I'll just keep adding a little bit at a time. Okay. Then start mixing it and you will notice that the water is warming up if the water starts to get too hot though you're gonna need to give it a little bit of time stick it in the refrigerator let it cool off You'll notice the water starts to turn gray. That's just during the mixing process. Okay, the water is starting to get pretty warm. You just don't want it to get too hot where it starts to melt your bottle. Um, that wouldn't be very safe. So then it just makes a mess and then you have poison <laughs> everywhere because potassium hydroxide is a dangerous chemical so you need to be safe with it. Also, every time you use potassium hydroxide, wash your hands about three to five times about 20 seconds each time. You, you wanna make sure your hands really are clean and safe because it will leave burns and it will irritate your skin. It's also very dangerous for your eyes. So you don't want this stuff touching you in any way. You don't wanna breathe it. You just keep doing a little bit at a time because you don't want the water to heat up too much. And if you want, you could stick um, an ice cube in there. I've never heard of it, but it probably would work. Just keep mixing it. And don't actually shake it because that's quite a bit of friction. That's making your chemicals 
um, start bouncing around too much where it could end up making a mess, um, being dangerous, expanding too much, creating too much heat. You'll notice when it drops to the bottom, it creates a lot of heat at the bottom. It's starting to melt the water bottle at the bottom, so. Yeah, when it starts to melt the water bottle at the bottom, that's when you definitely need to cool it off. But we're almost there so I'll be right back I'm gonna go stick an ice cube in this let it cool off stick it in the fridge and just try to get this to cool off because it's getting too hot and you definitely don't want it to be too hot so I will be right back so I just stick three ice cubes in it to cool it down and also uh, just put it under cold water flowing out of the sink. So it is cooled down, but it actually kind of still is a little warm. It melted the ice cubes very fast. So as you can tell, the water level is a little higher though because I did stick some ice cubes in it. Um, I'm just going to stick a little bit more potassium hydroxide in there and it'll be all finished and it'll be at 20%. So let's finish up. And I'm mixing it like this because it's it's not a harsh stir or shake it's just very gentle and it's letting the potassium hydroxide run through the water and just dissolve and it also just makes it so it doesn't sit at the bottom and heat up the water to the point that it starts melting the bottom because it was doing that earlier. I was pouring the hydroxide in, the potassium hydroxide, and it just started melting the bottom because it was sitting there too long and it was just heating it up very quick. Okay, and it looks like it's all dissolved. It's still a little gray, so I'll just let it sit there for a little bit and it'll get all clear and it'll, it'll be ready to stick in the hydrogen generator and produce a massive amount of hydrogen. All right, there you go guys. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Hey guys, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Also guys, don't forget to look at our channel. There's lots of videos on there. Plus, scroll down and look at our description. There's links to the video as well as there's products that we sell.